Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here, and as I've said many, many times on my channel, not all firearms are mine. I'm lucky enough, I'm an armed guard, and I have friends, and friends in media, and friends at companies, and I get to borrow pistols, which is cool. I've actually been kind of working with this one a bit lately, the CZP-01, and this is the HKP-2000. I thought it would be an interesting shootout between these two pistols because these are probably, in my opinion, the best pistols you can get that are still produced in DASA 9mm for concealed carry. Uh, this was rarely available in 40. This is still available in 40. I haven't shot either in 40. I'd like to. Uh, but anyway, current production, great easy to carry. They're both approximately the same size, approximately the same weight. This is just under 25 ounces. This is 27 and a half ounces um, for carry, though this has the Palmer grip uh, frame. This has the aluminum frame. But anyway, this should be a very interesting shootout, and I'll probably do a full kind of comparison, talking, unboxing type of video as well. So let's get to it. All right, guys, we're well, certainly not scientific. Let's just do five rounds, starting in DAs, so that will maybe show us a little something. I'll go on the left with the CZP01, and then later I'll go on the right. Okay. Seven yards, so nothing big. Uh, I do got tint, though, and it's very dark today. So... I'm actually holding on the bottom of the red X. And they're probably all over the place. Let's see how bad I did. All right, I did not notice that the first, like, one time I really did a day with this pistol, I didn't notice this at all. Uh, but then I did, uh, like, one magazine or a little walk-back drill. There's some other footage I did previously with the PO one I'm literally holding here. So the sights are here and should be shooting right above it. I mean, that's not a bad group, one of them being DA. But this is shooting way high. Now, that's only 7 yards, and this is a NATO-proof pistol, so maybe it's set for 25 yards. And this is hot 124 I'm shooting. Um, but I didn't... I gotta see what's going on with the sights. I don't... And now on to the P2000. HK, how about coming out with the P225? Can we get that in early, like, 24, a P2-2025? Because that would be cool with more grip texture, you know, so you don't got to put grip tape on it. It's kind of like in between, does it need it or not? But uh, I'll go to the top right now, and I'll use the same hold, actually, yeah, like 6 o'clock hold at the bottom right. Uh, and I'm going to lift up my glasses because I'm fogging up and starting to rain a little bit, just for the purposes of right now. I usually will put them down, but... Starting in DA, and I think this is a combat hold, so I think I'm going to hit a little low. Oh, dead center. That one sounded off. And we did have a bad round previous range session. Um, so that fourth shot definitely sounded... Weird to me. I'll have to ask the people over there if they think so. Um, and uh, it is using the same 124 ammo from a kind of unknown company. And, you know, went went well for a while. And then I had that really problem with the uh, CZ last time I was at the range. Let's see how I did. So, yeah, I'm not a group shooter and it's only seven yards. But, uh, again, I haven't worked with anything like that in a while other than my full size, which is similar, right? Uh, that it, my duty gun. But uh, watch that video on my duty gun and why I select it. John Wick's gun, HKP-30L. Uh, that was my first shot in DA, though, so that's kind of impressive. That's not that bad. All right, folks, on the left is the P-01, where I'm like, something is going on. It's hitting ridiculously high, and there were some shots, I don't think that were me, that flew really, really high compared to the shot after it, if you rewatch the video. Uh, so this is either pistol or ammo related pistol because of time. There was a lot of people here, but these are both 15 rounds 
15 rounds and look i only got one two three four with the p01 here and then they're drifting high 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 that first one i'm aiming here at three yards six o'clock hold underneath it so there's where the sights are and i'm hit, hit there at three yards these two and then you see this going all oh, high 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 with the p2000 look at this 15 shots and i got 13 here five in the red Back at 3 yards, 5 yards, 7 yards, 10 yards, 12 yards, and then I think like 3 at 15. Um, so, guys, uh, I, mean, I probably won't make you watch all that footage, but something's going on. I believe it is a stock sight downrange in the enclosed range. Stock sight because it's a glow sight. And uh, it's been disassembled and cleaned and properly and all that good stuff. So... I might have to send this back to CZ, and I might have to contact the ammo company because of another issue. So uh, let's see how we do through the day. Hey everyone, a little reminder to everyone, the four basic rules of firearm safety. I put this up here because the same Yahoo couple that just came up here, six people, but especially one couple, that have a tendency to load firearms and point them at each other, chambering them while sitting across from these tables, pointing them across from each other. I literally yelled at them and pointed out they just loaded it at someone's femoral artery, and they did the same damn thing today. And I have to speak up and deal with the stress of all this while I'm trying to get some filming done. I've already chastised these people and hey, let's keep them loaded in the safe direction. Hey, let's not load and make ready until we're pointed down range and the ones up front of the range since there's so many people or on your person safely in a holster. So keep safety in mind. This is from Targets Online as all my targets today, guys. Use code Dan the Wolfman to get 15% off at Targets Online. If you need a holster, get a tolster at tolster.com and uh, also uh, first order at access sites, 10% uh, off for your great night sites. Use code Dan the Wolfman. All right, guys, now that some dangerous yahoos are gone, let's try and do some drills and compare them to each other. I'll start with the two out of the three targets on your right, and let's start with the collateral drill, the excellent movie, because I watched some of it yesterday. Let's start with the modified collateral drill. It'll be much easier if I had a solar suit to throw open for my 3 o'clock outside waistband carry. Uh, but we'll just kind of pretend from there. Hey, yo, homie! Is that my briefcase? Yeah, you want it back? And as you see, this pistol's been shooting really, really high, and I think I might have to send it back to CZ, because those are all high for me. Put up your thoracic kits. You don't you gotta just from, you know, here, boom, two A zone, boom, two A zone, both hitting the heart. Headshot too high, headshot too high, aim there, right? So, not bad for the CZ, you'll mark them, and next up with the HK. Now let's run the drill with the HK, and if you didn't know, HKs can take a lot of the same magazines from other HKs, in the caliber, of course, so, P2000, P30, VP9, keep that in mind, young grasshoppers. Um, so... If it was an HK drill, it's probably going to give a little advantage to the HK. Um, if you don't think this drill is relevant, I would say that this kind of uh, shows some natural pointability. And um, look at some of the other HK videos I have. Hey, yo, homie. Is that my briefcase? Yeah, you want it back? All right, boom, 2A zone, a closer double tap. Tells you something about the recoil um, ability, the recoil reduction systems in all HKs pretty much. 2A zone on the spine instead of the heart, two on the spine, eyeball, and just under the eyeball. So I would say very slight advantage here to the HK and the HK Yo Homie drill. And results from the Yo Homie drill. P01, HK, P01 in beige, silver, HK, HK, P01 was high, it is shooting very high, HK, P01 a little high, CQB drill number two, you're close range, HK, take a palm, step out, hey guys, I don't want to I don't want to ah!
Unfortunately, I only had five loaded, but two A zone with the HK. One on the spine there. Nope, two on the spine. Look at that double tap again with the HK. Okay, pay attention. This isn't the P30, P30L. This isn't the HK45C. This is just a little old P2000, 20, less than 25 ounces. Easy to carry. And another one on the spine there. All right, guys, same drill. Only five rounds, though. It should have been six. But anyway, the P01. Oh, hey, guys. Hey, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. What's going on? What's going on? Ah! Boom, baby. That felt good. Let's see how I did. All right. One and two A zone there. Uh, I think these were the splits, or these were the splits with the HK. Two on the spine there, as opposed to two on the spine there with the HK. So, I mean, that's a really tight group there with the P01. Guys, why is a 25 to 30 ounce DASA Auto perhaps better to carry than a uh, Nick High? Now, that was the spine with the HK. There's with the P01. Look how high that is. That should be there. That's not me. I doubt it. I mean, I'm scooting. I'm moving real stuff. But anyway, guys, good recoil control as you see in these double taps over here. P01, HK, HK, right? So you might want something that can handle recoil a little bit better. It might be worth it sometimes to have a 25, 28, even 30 ounce DASA auto versus a striker fire gun. Something to think about. The tree chill, CZ. Three yards. Going backwards. Ah! Ah! Realistic scenario. Two alphas, headshot a little high. Two alphas, headshot a little high. And this one I made sure to go a little low on the headshot. Two alphas, because he's a small headed dude. Right there. Breaking contact! I shit the bed on that, I think, because I didn't know if the record button hit and I'm running out of data. Alpha, Bravo, headset good. Bravo, decent, heart. Delta, shitty, pelvic girdle, lucky enough, maybe. Headshot, a little bit low. Alpha, spine. Bravo, stomach, not very good. Uh, stomach shot doesn't mean shit to me. That even headshot doesn't mean shit to me. So I shoot the bet on that. All right, at seven yards to check a little bit of recoil, I'm going to give you a look and do triple uh, shot drills, three shot drills to see the DA to SA transition, three of them with each pistol, starting with the HK this time, at seven yards on the white anatomy target from targets online on the left. We'll go from low ready. The frame here so you can kind of see the recoil maybe the trigger a little bit if you slow it down drop it drop it second shot there might have thrown low drop it and I knocked some tape down Let's see how I did all right, with the HK, we got three alphas and a pretty good Bravo and six Bravos. Those are a little low, and that's what you got to worry about in the DA to SA transition is dropping that second shot low. I think that by the time I called that, so that's something you need to work on definitely at five and seven yards and things of that nature. Let's see how it goes with the CZ. And the same with the CZ, seven yards, triple shot drill. We're ready. Go a little faster. A little faster. And we'll see if I'm hitting high. All right, so CZ, if you compare to what I do with the HK, it is obviously the sights or the gun, something's wrong. It's shooting very high, especially that walk back drill at different yardages. 
uh, because, you know, usually you go a little low on the second shots, as you see with the HKP 2000. Very good. I mean, you see how accurate there are five are there, six, seven, eight in the throw, and nine way up here in the headshot. Mind you, I'm trying to keep all alphas here. So, I mean, that's good. And then here we got a flyer so high. That's usually not me. Um, and, like, you know, the low shots you drop and the triple shot drill. So far, results through three active drills, if we don't count the walking back kind of drill, 3, 5, 7, 10, 12, 15 yards, where the CZ sitting very, very high in the HK uh, was very, very accurate. We can see that everything is very similar. I was bad with the HK on the last uh, retreat drill, but everything's looking really good here. The silver is the HK. The beige is the P01CZ. Headshots are here. The bad guy in the right, all good upper thoracic case except this one, which is unacceptable. That last run with the HK. I think that's on me, not the pistol, and as well as that. It's also one really high with the CZ, and yes, I think that is the CZ. And on this target on the left, which is the favorite of Sage Dynamic, which should tell you something about on target, uh, targetsonline.com. Use code Dan Wolfman, get 50% off, and it's holster. Guys, and access sites, get a 10% discount your first order. Um, and, and anatomically, this teaches you what you're doing to people. So, this is like one of his favorites, and he's a top instructor. But other than this, which was bad on that last run, very bad. Everything else has been very good with both. So, so far through the three active drills, I would say both are amazing firearms. Hopefully, I can get some more uh, drills on data to please, but if not, both are highly effective pistols that I would have to recommend. So the CZ might have to go back to CZ. We'll see. Hopefully they're decent to deal with. Um, all right, guys, not much of a drill, but I'm going to draw and shoot five different times at 15 yards. I would usually make this headshots, but the CZ is hitting so high that's going to look really bad, and it's really not me. But I'm going to go for upper thoracic as usual, and we'll see how it goes. Usually I would do this to headshot. Uh, as in Texas. All right, going hot. All right, let's see how I did. So it's got to go back to CZ, guys. That's 15 yards. 15 yards could happen, as we saw in Texas. I do a lot of drills to the head. Remind me, I knew it was going to hit high. I go for the body. I'm not saying it's a bad pistol, but I'm going to say it's hitting very, very high because those should be down there. So three there, there, and this possibly could be me. Or is there a problem with the pistol or the ammo? It's going to have to go back. We'll finish this off with the HK. Individual draw and shoots with the HK, 15 yards. Pulled it a little left. Probably her upper right chest, a little high left for me. Felt good. My other shirt got caught up in that draw a little bit. That sucks. I think I took it out. Sorry. Oh, no, you're fine. I don't know. That one might have been a little bit high. Let's go down range. See how I did and wrap it up. So I didn't go high left, apparently. I only got three B zone, a little bit low. It's still kind of her chest, big chested girl here. Um, one low, that is not very acceptable to me. One in the arm, I mean, they're all hits from double action. 
at 15 yards. The CZ went too high. I don't know what's up with that, guys. I think this is a sample size of one. Unfortunately, I got unlucky, right? My friend got unlucky. Uh, I borrow pistols from a lot of people, like I said earlier. I think both are excellent pistols. Hopefully, CZ will take care of changing the front sight or figuring it out or making sure there's no, like, barrel to slide fitment issue that could throw off accuracy. Very strange, because I swear the first time that I shot the CZ, it was on and it was accurate. Maybe it's some ammo issue, but not this much. So I don't know what's going on, but I think for double action DASA traditional guns, light enough for carry, one's 25 ounces, one's 27 and a half ounces. The HKP 2000 and the CZ 75 P01 or PCR are excellent options. Please always get down in the comments. Let me know if you have experience. If your CZ P01 or any CZs hit way high for you at different distances, please let me know. That's important. Let me know in the comments. Get a discussion going. Thumbs up, share, subscribe. Uh, guys, please sub, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Thanks, everybody.